Science Technology and Society, Chapter 2, Science and Society, Learning Objectives, Define the Impact of Science on Society, Evaluate the Place of Science in Society, Discuss on Science and Culture, Impact of Science on Society, Technology and Human Life Cannot Be Separated, Society Has a Cyclical Codependence on Technology. We use technology, depend on technology in our daily life and our needs and demands for technology keep on rising. Humans use technology to travel, to communicate, to learn, to do business and to live in comfort. However technology has also caused us concerns. Its poor application has resulted into the pollution of the environment and it has also caused serious threat to our lives and society. This calls for proper use of technology. The biggest challenge facing people is to determine the type of future we need to have and then create relevant technologies which will simplify the way we do things. Define the impact of science on society. The impact of science on society is evident. But society also influences science. There are social influences on the direction and emphasis of scientific and technological development, through pressure groups on specific issues, and through generally accepted social views, values and priorities. The most basic definition of science is, systematic knowledge of nature through repeatable observation and experimentation. Its aim is the discovery of the laws that govern natural phenomena. Process of Science the process of science is a way of building knowledge about the universe constructing new ideas that illuminate the world around us. Those ideas are inherently tentative, but as they cycle through the process of science again and again and are tested and retested in different ways, we become increasingly confident in them. Develop technology. Build knowledge. Satisfy curiosity. Address societal issues. Inform policy. Solve everyday problems. That's the benefits and outcomes. Scientific knowledge is the study of science as a social activity, especially dealing with the social conditions and effects of science, and with the social structures and processes of scientific activity. Society, technology and class structure. The rise of the urban society is a clear example of the interaction between technology and society. Increased division of labor resulted from new technological developments and allowed people to live in communities of a size that could not be sustained before. Supervision. Supervision is the act or function of overseeing something or somebody. A person who performs supervision is a supervisor, but does not always have the formal title of supervisor. Conservative politicians often deplore the fact that a large and increasing percentage of households in highly developed urban societies consists of single-parent families. Through tax reform and family bonuses they try to induce women to return to family structures of the past. What they do not understand is that the traditional two-parent family is the basic social unit of early capitalism, that its time has passed, and that efforts to turn time backwards never succeed. Society and Ethics An important aspect of the development of societies is that interaction between many individuals is impossible without rules of socially acceptable behavior. The establishment of a moral code is therefore a natural product of the evolution of societies. Once kinship altruism and reciprocity are accepted as the basis of the distinction between good and bad behavior, it is a short distance to the introduction of a system of punishment for those who try to exploit the goodness of people. Altruism is the principle or practice of concern for the welfare of others. It is a traditional virtue in many cultures and a core aspect of various religious traditions and secular worldviews, though the concept of others, toward whom concern should be directed can vary among cultures and religions. Science's contribution to human civilization. Civilization requires that the society has developed a central institution responsible for the organization of daily life support, for example the maintenance of a water supply or a transportation system. This requires an advanced administration, which is not found before the development of cities. A civilization is therefore always sustained by an urban society, although the majority of its people may live in an agricultural society structure in the countryside. The Impact of Science on Human Civilization 
Civilization is any complex society characterized by urban development, social stratification imposed by a cultural elite, symbolic systems of communication, for example, writing systems, and a perceived separation from and domination over the natural environment. Science supports modern civilization. One more aspect of the contribution that science has made in the establishment of modern civilization has been the steady spread around the world of scientific thought as science has progressed. The place of science in society. There are certainly differences between science and other systems of action, interaction and communication in society, but science is not outside society. On the other hand, over time, a relatively autonomous science subsystem has emerged and is reproducing itself, including a strong inward-looking orientation coupled with equally strong convictions about the contribution of science to enlightenment and progress. This is how the place of science in society is often seen from within science. Climate change is a change in the statistical distribution of weather patterns when that change lasts for an extended period of time. Democratization is the transition to a more democratic political regime. It also refers to substantive political changes moving in a democratic direction. Democratization of science. Democratization is a continuous challenge to modern societies. While in former times, democratization meant simply the change from absolute or moderate forms of monarchy or dictatorships, now democratization is something which is asked for and which has to be achieved within societies already organized in more or less democratic ways. Tensions and frictions. The place of science in society is not given, and the question of its proper place will be debated and contested. This is as it should be, because tensions and frictions are an integral part of ongoing transformations, and actually provide opportunities to explore the nature and further evolution of science in society. Scientific progress changed the nature of society, and its sense of values. Theory of relativity was based on two main postulates, first, that the speed of light is constant for all observers, and second, that observers moving at constant speeds should be subject to the same physical laws. Promotion of basic research from the viewpoints of culture and civilization. In Japan, it is important that basic research for the creation of new scientific knowledge is actively promoted, and emphasis placed on the accumulation and continuation of Japan's knowledge resources, so that the nation can contribute to the advance of international society overall from the viewpoints of culture and civilization. Science. Culture. Intensity is the power transferred per unit area, where the area is measured on the plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the energy. Governance. And the role of science in society. There are a number of reasons why governance of science, and more broadly of science in society, has become important. There is a concern that self-regulation of science, however important as an ideal, is not enough in contemporary societies because of the pressures on science and the science system. Governance of scientific institutions. Public engagement is a term that has recently been used, particularly in the UK, to describe the involvement of specialists listening to, developing their understanding of, and interacting with, non-specialists. Science as a culture, a critical appreciation. Scientists have generally stood for certain principles that have provided traditions which go far beyond geographical boundaries. Scientists of the world do indeed constitute a supranational subculture and have evolved a value system of great relevance to society. Essential. Concepts. Science is interested in the laws of nature, while technology applies scientific knowledge to make new things, new machinery and it may be used to dominate nature and to improve the life. Science generates knowledge and understanding by attempting to eliminate potential sources of bias, often through controlled experiments. This pursuit of objectivity increases the credibility of scientific advances and expands society's willingness to take up and use the new knowledge and understanding science provides. Essential Concepts the need for societal decision-making to go beyond objective information contributes to a long-running and often contentious disagreement within the scientific community on the appropriate role of scientists in civic discussions. The impact of science on society is evident. But society also influences science. 
there are social influences on the direction and emphasis of scientific and technological development, through pressure groups on specific issues, and through generally accepted social views, values and priorities. Science developed from the observation of regularity in the natural world, the return of spring after winter, the setting of the sun at a day's end, the falling of the ebb tide after high water. Regularity suggests that nature is not all chaos but follows rules. The agricultural society is still widespread today and probably the most common society structure across the globe. It coexists with the more advanced form of the urban society, which developed when the division of labor reached the stage where individuals specialized in trades and had to receive food and other subsistence in exchange for products of their work. Scientific knowledge allows us to develop new technologies, solve practical problems, and make informed decisions both individually and collectively. Technological innovation offered opportunities to take up a trade, but these innovations affected mainly the way in which people hunt, build houses or go to war and not so much the way in which people prepare meals. Conservative politicians often deplore the fact that a large and increasing percentage of households in highly developed urban societies consists of single-parent families. An important aspect of the development of societies is that interaction between many individuals is impossible without rules of socially acceptable behavior. The establishment of a moral code is therefore a natural product of the evolution of societies. The comparative study of humans and animal societies shows that moral codes are a natural ingredient and regulator of life in all societies. Any group of humans or animals falls apart if its members show totally selfish conduct or take frequent recourse to unrestrained attacks. Human societies follow the same basic moral principles and punish non-reciprocators. In contrast to societies found in the animal world human societies evolve over time in response to changes of their economic system. A civilization is therefore always sustained by an urban society, although the majority of its people may, and often do, live in an agricultural society structure in the countryside. Science, in the way it shapes the views of the world, of ourselves and the societies is an important force. Its insights also fuel controversies, as such, or when linked to applications, e.g. debates on human enhancement, climate change, stem cell research, geoengineering and, just emerging, synthetic biology. Democratization is a continuous challenge to modern societies. While in former times, democratization meant simply the change from absolute or moderate forms of monarchy or dictatorships, now democratization is something which is asked for and which has to be achieved within societies already organized in more or less democratic ways. The main objective of science has been elucidation of how nature is put together and operates, and it has developed as a separate entity from technology. The meager communication between science and the humanities has, for years, been felt to be a serious obstacle to the development of contemporary culture. Scientists of the world do indeed constitute a supranational subculture and have evolved a value system of great relevance to society.